Hello, I'm Nitesh Pradhan from LabVIEW and Multisim. If you want to explore more about the basic LabVIEW and you want to access easily your LabVIEW, so you can follow this video. In this video, we will see all possible way to create a array. As per my knowledge, there are six to seven possible way to create an array. So let's start one by one. So first of the okay, so first. Open your lab view, come into the file and click in new vi, press ctrl t. So the very first way to create an array is right click in the front panel, come into the data containers and take directly array. It is the first way. Okay. You can enable the index, its numeric array. Come here. string array right so it is the first way now let's come to second way for second way right click come here come in data containers take a array cell it is unconfigured array cell because one dimension size is here but you cannot find any data type you can take like this and you can create a array by placing the element inside the array if you are able to create one d array so also you know how easily you can create convert it into the two d array let's discuss about the third way right click take any kind of the controls here like this right click create con change to array change to array it is third way let's come to the fourth way now it is th a three way to create array using the front panel so we have some functionality using that we can create array in the block diagram right click take a for loop and give the any value whatever the size you will provide it will create array for your given value by using one for loop it will create one d array and if you will take two for loop so it will create a two d array so it is a fourth way it is a fourth way to create a array now let's come here to six way you can take initialize array functions and here you have to insert a number number a element a entity and there is element for dimension size whatever the value you will put in the dimension size suppose i am putting here the value 3 so it will create a array for that okay one d array like this okay it will create one d array for my element for my given value now come here the one more way which i know very well right click come here and take a build function using this build function you can create array so as per my knowledge and experience there are six way to create array in lab view If you have any other concepts, I know there two more way are present 
to move a R project to create array. Okay. In lab view, which I can explain here. So what is that two way? Right click, you can come into the array constant and you can place a array. Later you can convert it into the control. There is one more extra way. Right? And by using this formula node, and here you will get a uh, math script node. Using that node, you can also create an array. So these are the six to seven way you can create an array in LabVIEW. So if you found this video is useful for you or informative for you. So please like this video.